Hi guys, Justine from Your Dino here. So a lot of people have asked me for a brake system for go-karts and we have bought a test brake here. This here is a magnetic powder brake, so it looks like an eddy current brake, but it's uh, it's not. It's a magnetic, magnetic powder brake. Now the way this works, as you can see it has two axles here. Uh, if you can turn one, the other one doesn't turn or it's almost not connected. Um, you can see if you see inside here, you can see when I turn that there is um, there is a rotor in there, and when we turn on power, this is just 12 volt, uh, just directly. Uh, then both axles turn together, like that, and uh, they hold uh, about at 24 volts. It holds about um, 100 newton meters. This one. Uh, but it's limited to a thousand RPMs, so it will need to be geared down quite a bit uh, in order to be tested for uh, for a go kart application. Um, what we would do here is uh, to somehow lock this axle to the brake and add uh, a load cell here somehow, and then this one is connected with uh, with a chain or a sprocket on the chain to the engine or to the back axle of the of the go kart. So um, the good thing with this uh, type of dyno is that they are relatively cheap. This one can take so 14 horsepower and it costs $280. And the power supply that you need for this is super simple. It's only 24 volts and only a couple of amps, so that will be really low cost as well. So that should be um, that should be a good starting point for. Uh, a low power go kart uh, test system. Now the, this same um, the same brake, just a little bit bigger, can be had up to 56 horsepower rated, and that is about 700 dollars. But still, a very low cost power supply should be necessary here. So we haven't tested much in terms of magnetic powder brakes. I haven't uh, used them at all actually, and I'm not sure how they behave if they are as good as eddy current brakes. If they are linear, etc. We will see. So I thought we'll give it a try with this small one. It's light. It's only 30 kilos, so you can bring it even to the racetrack uh, if that's allowed to test there to do the jetting, etc. So and um, if something is wrong with the engine, it would be nice to to test at the at the test track or somewhere else with a with a um, portable kind of portable dyno. 30 kilos is not that that bad. Okay, so I'll keep you posted on how this uh, test is gonna gonna go, and uh, let you know how uh, how well this this type of brake works.